Now I would like to discuss with you that how the values of the different trigonometric ratios varies from one quadrant to the another quadrant. Till class 10th, we have discussed only the values related to the angles 0 to 90 and specifically 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Now beyond it, if we move to the second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, which trigonometric values are positive and which trigonometric values are negative and why. I want to explain you the system of the quadrant in the trigonometry. It is like this. If I divide a plane by drawing two lines, one the horizontal which we call x axis, other the vertical one we call it y axis. We know very well the point of intersection of both the axes is known as origin 0 comma 0 means the value of x and y both are 0 on the origin. On the x axis always y 0 and on the y axis always x 0. The right hand portion from origin toward the x axis is the positive x and left hand portion is the negative x. Upper part is the positive y and lower one is the negative y. It is separated in the four quadrants. This is first quadrant, second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. First quadrant we know in the first quadrant the angles are from 0 degree to 90 degree. In the second quadrant the angles are from 90 degree to 180 degree. And in the third quadrant we know that angles are between 180 and 270 degrees. And the last quadrant fourth where the angles are between 270 degree and 360 degree. And after 360 we will come back to the first quadrant. So first of all we must be aware that if a plane is separated by two lines, one the horizontal x axis, vertical one is y axis, plane is separated in the four equal parts, each of the part is known as a separately quadrant. First quadrant is the comprises of the angles between 0 and 90 which we discussed in class 10th. Second quadrant angles from 90 to 180 and in third quadrant angles are from 180 to 270. Fourth quadrant angles are 3, 270 degree to 360 degree.